First you hook the MIDI cord from the out on the back of the MIDI keyboard to the N1 on the MPC 2500. Then you take a MIDI cord and put it in the MIDI out A from the MPC 2500 uh, to the USB input on your computer. Uh, once you've done that, um, you go into your settings, mode, MIDI sync into the MPC 2500. Once you get on that uh, MIDI sync screen, on the MIDI screen, make sure the soft through is set up as Omni A, since we have that coming out um, with A. Also, make sure that the uh, MIDI sync out is set up uh, to A as well. And the mode is a mini clock uh, and MMC send on. So I have hooked up everything so that the MPC um, can control the MPC beat software um, as the master. And so now I have to go in and uh, make sure that the MPC beats software uh, is set up so that it can receive the MIDI information from the MPC 2500. So I'm going to start with an empty project. Um, and um, I'm going to just start with a random program. Uh, let's go with the drums that not MPC beats edition. And um, I'll do the hip hop program in there. When I drag this over, it's going to uh, fill in that program one. So, um, the first thing I do is um, I, I map out because the uh, some for some reason the expansions are not all uh, mapped out already to fit the old MPCs, uh, and you can see which drums are being hit by uh, which pads are being hit. Uh, by just going to the edit program, uh, pad color, and I normally just go to the the default um, classic de velocity, um, which lets me know which pads I'm hitting. And as you can see, they're not hitting the correct pads. So uh, what you do to fix this problem first is just go into edit, uh, program, and note mapping, and classic MPC. And once you have that in there, as you can see, they're mapped out like they're supposed to be. Um, the next thing you do is go up to edit, um, preferences, uh, MIDI sync. And you want to make sure that uh, the USB MIDI, that's where the, the um, MPC 2500 is hooked up to the MIDI USB is set up for master, control, and track. You want all those three checked on the input port for MIDI sync. Um, and sync receive on uh, for MMC. You want that um, to be selected as well. So um, you just press OK. Make sure all those are highlighted. And uh, if we pull, let's just pull one of the sequences over here, um, that same sequence that we were hearing, I'll just pull it up to the sequence um, and do it. So that sequence pre-populates in there. And as you can see, instead of pressing the play button up here, if I go press the play button on my MPC 2500, <laughs> There it goes. You keep playing the sequence through, stop it. And um, another thing I might note is when you have it hooked up as a master, you can use the note repeat. So everything uh, can be played with the MPC now. 